This past weekend, I went to a card show that was in an old pig barn. Let me show you guys what we picked up. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Shop. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, come <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So, all right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Clutch 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, I'm back to show you guys another round of pickups, but this time, it's going to be from one of the bigger card shows in all of Ohio. This past weekend, we went to a card show that was actually held in an old pig barn location uh, down at the Greene County Fairgrounds in Xenia, Ohio. Uh, it actually had a good amount of tables. I was there for probably four or five hours uh, and did not get to a lot of the tables. We ended up making a few good sized deals uh, with a couple people, which probably prohibited us from getting to all the tables, uh, but was able to pick up a good amount of stuff. Uh, did this the day after trade night. I decided to keep the camera guys at home, let them uh, sleep in. Decided I would uh, journey down to Xenia. It's about an hour away from the shop. So I decided to uh, head down there and see what we picked up. And I'm glad I did because we ended up picking up some cool stuff, seeing some people we hadn't seen in a while, uh, and just making some cool deals on a Saturday. So let me uh, let me show you guys what we got. We got some cool stuff. We even got some hockey in this one, uh, some cheap slabs. We picked up just a bunch of stuff. So uh, I promise this one will, uh, this one should be pretty good. We'll start with, with this one right here. Um, uh, I paid just over 2k for this one. Uh, this is out of 10. This is from the premium box sets. Uh, I think this is one of those cards that'll be an okay card long term. Uh, there's only 10 out of 10. Oh, that was the most obvious thing ever. Uh, there's there's an out of 10 and there's an out of 5 from the box set. Um, I actually hit one of the out of 10s from one of the box sets. And this is the second one. Um, so I think this one will be okay. Uh, got this one though. <clears throat> and... Uh, an auction just ended the other day at like 2800 2700 um, We'll see. I just don't think these are going to pop up very often. So may keep these. I'm not not entirely sure, but thought that was cool. Uh, got some cheap reds, Hunter Green, some like local stuff, Pickens, McKinsey, Immaculate Auto. I found this. I've talked about these a few times, very briefly on the channel. Uh, this is 2017 Panini Football, just like base Panini product from when Mahomes was a rookie. Uh, but this is actually the chain mail. I used to own the Mahomes. Uh, I own a Joe Thomas. I've owned uh, TJ Watt. I've owned a few of these. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the better finds of the entire weekend. These are limited to 27 according to um, like the, the checklist. Um, again, the Mahomes was a pretty big card. I think we sold TJ Watt for about 50 bucks. This is a Cooper Cup rookie uh, at a 27 chain mail. So I think that one could be sneaky. Uh, Eloy Red Auto numbered. That's like one, yeah, one of five. Thought that was nice for the price. Uh, Drake London Contenders, Hutchinson Contenders out of forty nine. Uh, I got these a good amount of this stuff off my friend uh, Logan. Great sports cards, uh, so he had some cool stuff. Drake London, Hutchinson, uh, Pacheco, uh, JJ McCarthy, Devonta Smith Gold. Uh, it's numbered ten of ten. Can't go wrong with gold. Uh, JT Barrett, Anthony Richardson, Bowman's Best Auto. Uh, it's numbered, looks like 88 of 150, so uh, AR 15 there. Nice uh, Jalen Hurts auto, immaculate. Uh, signature moves. Wish it was on card. That's really the only downside here. I thought the photo was really cool. Uh, 25 of 25. Uh, some cheap slabs. Wander 9, Wander Metallic 10, Pena Metallic 10. Christian Watson, again, I continue to talk about him. We'll see. I think love's going to be the biggest factor here, but 3 of 49, PSA 10. Uh, Mac Jones, Mystique Auto at a 30, PSA 8. And a Mike Allstop, PSA 10, Mosaic Rookie Auto. So, some cool stuff. Shout out to my man Logan for the deal. Now, here's some of the better hockey stuff. Made a pretty good size deal. It's the biggest deal of the day by far. Um, and it was highlighted by these really, really nice uh, Pasternak Rookie Autos. Unfortunately, they didn't do anything. Had one of the greatest seasons ever and then were eliminated by the Panthers in the first round. Uh, but you have a cup rookie patch auto out of 249, four color, and an uh, exquisite uh, patch auto numbered 12 of 88. Just incredible patches. Uh, from four, This is 1415 exquisite. This is 1415 the cup. Um, but incredible cards. Really, really, really cool. So um, I'm excited about these. I think, uh, I think those will do pretty well. 
Uh, here's a couple of cool Marchands. This one's out of 25 from SP Authentic. You have a nice Bobby Orr 8 of 8 on card auto from the cup. Uh, a Ray Bork limited logos out of 50. The limited logos, there's a couple of them in here. Uh, there's a couple coming up. There's a Zetterberg and a uh, another Bruin. I'll probably look to keep the limited logos. The hockey stuff I'm going to go through. I don't know what I want to keep yet. Um, just this is so cool. Um, the bear patch. Just don't see this stuff often. And I'm like, I don't know how bad I want to move it. So we'll see. Um, but I'll have to sort through the hockey stuff first. A couple more over autos. Uh, which is like, I want to call it clearly because that's what baseball uh there it is, clear cut. I always want to call it clearly authentic because that's what baseball has. Uh, and then SP Authentic signs of the time, so some more Bobby Orr autos. Again, won't, won't go wrong picking up one of the greats. There's a good amount of him, though. Bobby Orr Ultimate Signatures Auto. Uh, Bobby Orr Auto Rookie Year Milestones out of 25. Uh, Bobby Orr SP Authentic Limited on Card Auto. Uh, Bobby Orr Significance Auto 3 of 50. Uh, Berger, uh, Bergeron Jersey UD Game. Uh, Warren Moon, John Randall, out of 49. And then you got a Bergeron Auto out of 22 Ultimate Achievements. And you have a really cool one here, Ray Bork, Bobby Orr, Dual Auto, uh, numbered 10 of 25. A couple Bruins, uh, Bruins greats there. I thought that was really, really cool. So pick those up. And then there should be a few more in this pile. Yep. Uh, here's the Zetterberg uh, Limited Logos out of 50. And then you have a, uh, oh yeah, Kessel. Uh, Phil Kessel out of 50. So, really nice cards. Uh, did get a McCarthy, Bowman Chrome Auto. I don't like him, but Michigan's going to be probably preseason top, they'll probably be third, maybe second in the preseason. He'll be one of the top five guys for the final, uh, as a Heisman candidate going into the year. Um, so, buy what sells. Uh, Jack Hughes, although they're not going, f uh, not, although they're out of the playoffs, um, this kid had a really, really good year. Um, didn't know what he was going to do early on. He was so small. I think he only scored, what, seven goals his, first, his rookie year. He didn't score a lot, um, but had a really, really good year. This kid's going to be the real deal. Uh, dual patch auto from the Cup rookie out of 24. Thought that was cool, so excited to grab that. And then got a pair of really nice Brad Marchand cards. Uh, you got a 3 of 3 button and an eight or a 6 of 8 patch auto. Uh, do not like Brad Marchand. Never been a Marchand guy. I think he's one of those guys, if you have him on your team, you love him. If you don't have him on your team, you hate him. I would imagine most non-Buckeye fans probably felt the same way about like someone like Aaron Kraft. Just a real scrappy guy. Um, but if you have him on your team, you're like, yeah, this dude's... I'm glad he's on my team. If you're not, you're like, nah. Um, so not really a big Marchand guy, but thought those were too cool to pass up. So I uh, did get those. So like I said, a good amount of hockey this time. That's... That's more hockey than we've definitely bought in a minute. Uh, moving on here, one of the winningest, I think the winningest quarterback of all time in Big Ten history, um, three-time captain at Ohio State. The list goes on and on of JT Barrett's accomplishments and one of my all-time favorite Buckeyes. Uh, so that's out of 20, but it's out of 50. Uh, Jalen Rose auto, five bucks. Uh, Troy Smith, this is actually a gift from my guy Mike, Cards Across America, out of 120. Thought that was cool. Uh, Josh Jacobs, 101. I love the color match here, the black patch. Black parallel with the white Raiders jersey. I thought that was really, really cool. All right, and then you've got a Desmond Ritter uh, patch auto certified piece of the game. It used to be called fabric of the game. I'm honestly not sure why it, why it changed. Um, but nice patch auto out of 15. Uh, Acuna and Hank Aaron uh, out of 73 from Topps Heritage. Love the on-card numbering on these. Always think they're cool and dual game used. Uh, Javante Williams out of 99 Prism RPA. He actually sells pretty well even though I think he tore his like ACL, MCL, and PCL in October. Um, this guy sells, I mean, he was having a good year, but he actually still sells pretty well. And then you got this nice one. Uh, in my opinion, what do you guys think? Top three running back in the league? Nick Chubb's the real deal, man. He's consistent. He just, he, he, yeah, he's the real deal. Like, that's the best way to describe him. Like, I just think he's really, really good. Uh, he's probably up there. I think I'd put Henry up in there in that conversation. Then you get into like Barkley, McCaffrey, Taylor, um, a lot of, a lot of other guys. We'll, we'll see what Bijan does this year, but, um, give me Nick Chubb right now. I just, I think he's the real deal. 49, 9, 5, 10. That's actually a pretty big card. Um, so I thought that was neat. A couple cheap prism relics, uh, Garrett Wilson, Kenneth Walker, Pickens. We've ripped some of these in a blaster video. 
If you guys have not watched it, it's actually a pretty cool video. Uh, but it was basically like, hey, would you rather have an entire Prism Hobby or an entire case of Blasters? We got a couple of these jerseys. I will say I do actually like the jerseys this year. I know it's super odd, um, and they're just jerseys. But I think the jerseys actually look good. I like that the photo's blown up a little bit more, um, and not like the base Prism where the card's in the back and it's like harder to see them. I like the blown up photo. So I did notice that when I picked those up. I'm like, I think these look better this year. Uh, Isaac Curtis, Auto, nothing crazy. Joe Stewart, Green. Spieth, uh, SI for Kids. Lance. Uh, Christian Watson, another jersey. But this was cool. Uh, shout out. I did not catch the gentleman's name. Uh, but someone came up to me when I was looking at a table. And he's like, hey, Ryan, someone has a Donnie Nicky Auto in a Buckeye bin. I'm like, well, that's my day one PC. They don't ever pop up. Uh, so six bucks. I actually got these for like 30 bucks. Uh, shout out to my man Mark for the easy deal on these. Uh, it's a Kadeem Carey one of one NFL Shield patch auto from Finest, uh, Donnie Nicky auto, and then uh, I picked up some outliner stuff every now and then. Uh, he got just got into cards and he's uh, active on social, so I picked this up. Two of fifteen liner artifacts uh, jersey auto. This is from 07, I think. Yeah, 07. So it's second year uh, Matt Liner relic. It's a little beat up around the edges, um, so he gave it to me at a pretty good price. Obviously, I got them all for thirty bucks. So. Uh, got this one, uh, George Kittle, uh, this is the Immaculate Moments, his arm has the lucky charm, 41 of 49, uh, got that from my guy Mitchell, nice on-card auto, thought that was neat, uh, Charlotte Flair auto, uh, I, I don't know if this is Team All, I want to say Team All, but I don't know if they have WWE Team All, it's a red wave, but it's not numbered, so I'm not sure if that's like retail or, or what, uh, Pat McAfee, I've never seen this card, but I'll probably keep it in the PC, Legends of the Fall with the long hair, uh, AP, rookie jersey from 07 SP, rookie threads, uh, a couple cheap Kennys, a couple Kenny pickets, they came in mags, and so those are going shop, T-Law, thought this one was cool, Got a, this, this price is insanely high when we looked it up, but I thought it was a cool card, uh, Lawrence Parsons, Trayvon Diggs, Team Summit Auto, triple from uh, Zenith or Zenith, big mystery there, I know I always butcher it, so I'm not even going to try anymore. Uh, Roger Staubach downtown. Roman Reigns auto numbered out of 99 from Revolution. He sells. Uh, and then another one, uh, just a cheap local card in a mag. So Antoine Randall L auto likely end up in the shop. And then wrapping it up here, got some more cool stuff. Uh, Shea 9, Matt Calf jersey. Uh, Craig Morton jersey auto from Playbook. Joey B, the GOAT. Vontez Burfitt, three-color game used. Uh, one of those guys, if he wasn't on your team, you absolutely despised him. Thought he was a dirty player. Um, but if he's on your team, you're probably like, hey, this guy's uh, an enforcer. Dirty, but nonetheless. Jameer Gibbs, uh, Alexa Bliss out of 50. Uh, Rhea Ripley numbered out of 99. Uh, T-Law Relic, Jay Jets out of 99. Okay, can't go wrong with T-Law Jay Jets. Both sell pretty well right now. And then we got uh, Rock Impeccable. Out of 99, more Tila, more Tila, Zion, uh, MJ, and a Jimmy Kelly CSG 10. So not bad. Again, we were there for a little while. Got some pretty cool deals. Uh, obviously loved the hockey. That was probably my favorite pick up the weekend. But got a lot of variety in this one. So um, I think uh, this will show that you can find deals and make stuff happen even without a camera. I know the comments always, uh, you know, you only get deals because you got a camera, but we didn't have a camera this weekend. We didn't film, and we still found some cool deals and, and made some some transactions. So it was a really, really fun time. Uh, excited to hopefully get back to some shows here very soon. I know there's a ton coming up in the next month or so, so we'll see. But either way, we'll have some very cool card content coming soon. But for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.